the 1997 World Series. Dan Quisenberry is on the mound. Ron stays at bat. It's a swing and a crack. The crowd just sits there paralyzed in fear as little duck snort drops behind the second baseman and Ron Say is thrown out at first base. You're out! There he goes, Ron Say. Oh, Arnie, we're back! Oh. Well, guys, oh, it was a great game. Oh, too bad the Cubs didn't win. Oh. No, I, I'm talking here with, uh, I'm out on the field talking to, uh, to, uh, my good friend, uh, Dan Rasenberry. Dan! Quizenberry. Dan Quizen, yeah, that's what I saw. Holy, holy God, yeah, I'm getting a little old there. Uh. So, Dan, 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 uh, uh, what was going through your mind when you, you, uh, you stepped into the shower after the game? Well, Harry, I knew I was really hot. I had been sweating a lot. Oh, 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 oh. And, uh... And Ron say I don't think he's shower for uh, at least a few months. And I can smell him all the way from the um, the pitcher's mouth. Oh, holy cow! Oh, it's, it's like Steve Stone. So I just I just got in the shower. I, I turned on all the way hot, and I uh, got in the shower and I lathered up. Okay, all right. What did you think about dinner last night? I uh, I had the shrimp at Andy's Chicken Shack. Very good. Holy cow! Oh. Wow, all right, well, good to talk to you. Congratulations on getting in the Hall of Fame. Oh, so. <laughs> Holy God, all right, all right. Thanks, nice, nice seeing you, all right. All right, yeah. Don't I get like a free TV or something? <laughs> we'll send you a full of our watch. Uh, yeah. No, no, my next guest. Now over to you, me fun. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh. Thank you, Harry. All right, this is Mick Funny. I'm back. And I'm talking with my buddy Ron Say. Ron, it's good to see you again. How are you? Call me Penguin. Hey, Penguin. Holy cow. Captain Sibby wouldn't believe this. Captain, can you hear me? It's so great. Oh, sorry. Back, back to the task at hand. Well, what did you think about making the final out and embarrassing the town of Chicago in the World Series? Just call me Penguin. Penguin. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm having more fun than I ever did. So, why do they call you Penguin? Because I want funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, how's your wife? Felt great last night. Woo <laughs> hee! That's what she told me this morning. Well, I mean, anyway, so what are you going to do after this game? Oh, it's over. What are you doing now after the interview? Uh, I'm gonna go drink some Gatorade. All right, it's Woo. free. Woo, free Gatorade! You hear it here first. Now we're going to a commercial. Sorry, I don't have my accent anymore. Later. Hey, Ron. Woo. Oh, oh boy, how you how you doing, Larry? It's been a while, there, Ron. How utterly revolting to see you again. Completely. <laughs> How noxious to see you again. So Larry Boa. <laughs> yes, Ron say. <laughs> what, are doing penguin, huh? yeah. oh, what are you doing? What are you doing these days? Oh nothing much. Just walking around my green gloves. I saw your uh really marvelous stint managing the Padres. That went well. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, of course. Uh, of course, I can't say much for my line of frozen desserts I introduced back in 1988. I tried some. I tried some. They were... Those didn't go over well. Hey, have, have you seen uh, Tom? Tom Reiser, remember him? Ah, uh, Tommy. God, yeah. Didn't, didn't he started his own league his a few own, years ago. His own league. He's starting to get almost as big as uh, the majors now. Yeah. Yeah. Little Tommy. Got him. Tommy Verizon. We love, love him. him. He's great. Years ago. <laughs> Gives me chills friend. just thinking about the way that boy can play baseball. Me too. Him. Well, that brings that brings a close to another exciting Ron Say Ron Say Adventure Hour. Before I go, I'd like to I'd like to say a word about America's libraries. You know, I can still remember when I was well, I must have been eight years old. My grandpa 
He walked funny too. He gave me my first book. What'd they call him? Tom Watts, Agrarian Rebel. I read it cover to cover. It must have been 20, 30 times. And I was transported to the world of Tom Watts. I felt like I was him and I knew what he was thinking. And then I knew that the America's, America's library was the most important natural resource we have. Of course, that was the last book I read too. I haven't had a lot of time playing Ain't a lot you of- read T-Ball as our game? <laughs> I've looked at the pictures. But I, I, I still remember that, how great it was. And I, I guess that's all I have to say. Till next time. And Ron say. Say him. <laughs> Say, say, say. Ron say, Agrarian Rebel say. Man, I need these two issues. Be true to your school. <laughs> Ron say, fever. Catch it. Every game. Look Every. at me. I'm gyrating. Look at me. <laughs>